Good evening, friends. Stephen Benin with Israeli News Live and Benjamin Netanyahu, store, of course, still sounding the drum beats of war, even after there is so much proof that he was the very one encouraging the funding of Hamas, who created, if you were, the monster that, uh, that everyone is so afraid of now. But, you know, I cannot help but wonder if Netanyahu's real goal right now in eliminating Hamas is really to make sure there are no witnesses to what really happened on October the 7th, 2023, in Israel. Let's take a look at some of the inf information out here. I want to play a little bit of this here where Prime Minister Netanyahu is, is pushing back fiercely uh, as he tries to remind the world what happened on October the 7th as he compares it to the a situation in the Holocaust. And, and I would probably agree with him on that, especially in light of the fact that many of those killed in the Holocaust were at the hands of the Jewish authority in Switzerland. Yeah, think about that, especially when we consider the book uh, that was written by rabbis, Holocaust Victims Accused. Listen into this right here, please. They pushed back fiercely against what he described as international pressure over the war in Gaza. At a cabinet meeting, he said, to our friends in the international community, I say, is your memory so short, so quickly you forgot about October 7th, the worst massacre committed against Jews since the Holocaust? And he repeated his determination to send forces into Rafah, the city on the border with Egypt overrun by civilian refugees who fled their shattered homes elsewhere in the Gaza Strip. He said, no international pressure will stop us from achieving all the goals of the war, eliminating Hamas, freeing all of our hostages and ensuring that Gaza will no longer pose a threat to Israel. In order to do that, we will operate in Rafah too. Earlier on Sunday, Netanyahu also hit back at a speech made last week by the U.S. Senate Majority Leader Chuck Schumer. The Democrat and long-standing supporter of Israel stunned observers when he directly criticized Netanyahu. The fourth major obstacle to peace is Israeli Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu. And called for new elections in Israel. Speaking on CNN, Netanyahu said Schumer's comments were, quote, totally inappropriate. But Netanyahu is facing pressure from inside Israel as well. Action now. Yeah, it's not just... Chuck Schumer, it is definitely Israelis everywhere that know just how crooked his government has become. Speaking of the Holocaust, it seems very uh, interesting that uh, the situation in Gaza is very eerily uh, like that of the Holocaust to begin with. All of these people with their bags in hand being driven away from their homes. Refugees is what they have become, and uh, very much like what the Holocaust was there. But let's go back in time, though. 2019, for example, March the 12th, the Jerusalem Post publishes this article here. Netanyahu, money to Hamas, part of the strategy to keep Palestinians divided. Now that we are supervising, we know it's going to humanitarian causes, the source said, paraphrasing. Uh, Netanyahu, and uh, let me kind of drop that one out, and uh, says here, Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu defended Israel's regular, uh, regular allowing of Qatar funds to be transferred uh, into Gaza, saying it's part of a broader strategy to keep Hamas and the Palestinian Authority separate, a source in Monday's Likud faction meeting said. Netanyahu explained that in the past, the PA transferred the millions of dollars to Hamas in Gaza. He argued that it was better for Israel to serve as the pipeline to ensure the funds don't go to terrorism. Really? So that was the strategy. Okay, I get it, right? Let me, let me share this little short here. Elizabeth sent to us there. Very interesting clip. Listen uh, who in. deliberately boosted Hamas to try to prevent a Palestinian state. Yeah, sure. He deliberately and systematically even, even told, this on record, whoever wants to avoid the threat of a two-state solution has to support my policy of paying protection money to the Hamas. So what we did, uh, with the permission of our Prime Minister, is to let Qatar 
to transfer a huge amount of money in cash, probably more than $1.4 billion. By doing it, we increase the power of Hamas. We did everything in order to make sure that Hamas will go on controlling Gaza and Palestinian Authority will control the West Bank so they will fight each other. Netanyahu maintains the Qatar money was to avoid it. So you... <laughs> there you have it, right? Ehud Barak, former Prime Minister of Israel and a former uh, Shin Bet leader, Amir, both saying and admitting exactly what Netanyahu has admitted openly, publicly as well, funding Hamas. And he never stopped, not even in 2023. Now here, here Amir is again. He was just on Al Jazeera earlier today. And, uh, or I'm sorry, not earlier today, but uh, this is, uh, sorry, 12 days ago. And uh, boy, he was very hot and inflamed because he's being challenged. And uh, listen to this here. Defenseless, effectively, while waiting for a humanitarian aid truck, and Israeli forces kill them, even though they are not uh, engaging listen, in any kind of military listen. action. How does how how, how, how how is that Hamas's fault and not just the Israeli military's? For me to stop this interview is just to push a button. If you go, if we shall go on. Now, I, I know you're willing you, to push a say, button. No, no. But what, what I'm saying is, uh, under under what circumstance? The guy asked him a fair question. And all he does is threaten to push a button to end the interview. Why not just answer the question? He does blame Hamas for the deaths of those uh, trying to get the, 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 the aid that had came in. But of course, was it Hamas's fault that Israel gunned them all down? Later, they try to claim some kind of stampede. So... Even though he admits all that money going to Hamas, he'll still cover up for the crimes the Israeli military is doing in the Middle East there. It's very sad, very sad when you look at everything that's going on. Buying quiet inside the Israeli plan that propped up Hamas. Uh, this here on, what is it, the, uh, gosh, the New York Times. And Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu of Israel not only tolerated those payments, he had encouraged them. During, this me during his meetings in September with the Qatari officials, according to several people familiar with the secret dis discussions, the Mossad chief, David Farnia, was asked a question that had not been on the agenda. Does Israel, Israel want the payments to continue? Mr. Netanyahu's government had recently decided to continue the policy, so Mr. Barnia said yes. The government still welcomed the money from Doha. Mr. Netanyahu has lashed back at that criticism, calling the suggestion that he tried to empower Hamas ridiculous. But yet he funded them, according to the former Shin Bet leader there, to a tune of $1.4 billion. Think about it, right? And speaking about October the 7th, I don't have to tell you it was an inside job with all the sources that we provided that certain network made us take everything down to keep from losing the channel. Let me remind you what Rabbi Misrahi had to say about it. Let's listen in. Our army looked like a joke. The whole world is shocked. How is it possible? Where was the army? The army did not start to respond at least four hours until already hundreds of people were murdered. Everyone is in shock. I spoke to few people who used to be in intelligence. They say if a mouse would touch the fence, 20 jeeps will get there in less than a minute. And that's true. This how strict I know that it for used a to be. From living there it has to be an violence. inside job. It cannot be that they broke the fence in 15 places and broke in and nobody responded. Not one bullet was shot. And then they occupied the military base that had tanks over there. And they took the tank and they drove over people. This is only the, the stick the stick in the hand of Hashem. It's only Hashem. Hashem did this to us. Hashem did it to these girls, to these kids, to these old women, to the soldiers. I mean, that's kind of a bent way of looking at it, but the point is, 
Rabbi Mizrahi clearly showed you it was an inside job. That was his first response about that, if I remember right. Professor Mearsheimer also admitting that the IDF killed a good number of the Israelis on October the 7th, all under the... 7th? A good Hannibal number. Doctrine. We don't know what the number is, but a good number of the Israelis who were killed were not killed by Hamas. They were killed by the IDF. And I find that hardly surprising, given the nature of the fight that was taking place. It is hard to discriminate in those situations. Now, the Hannibal Doctrine is a very different matter. The argument there or the claim there is that what the Israelis do. Well, in that case there, he's not even claiming that the Hannibal Doctrine is the reason why they killed them all. Think about it. Hmm. It's very, very, very sad. Listen, I want to share something with you guys uh, in closing here. And so many people probably wonder, you know, or, or, or still maybe wondering why we support LifeWave products, the X39 specifically, um, being the main patch. There are so many amazing patches that this company has to offer. But um, in fact, I'm wearing one called an energy patch right now on my wrist, both wrists there. You can wear that thing day or night. It was actually designed for the Special Forces, uh, Navy SEALs, in fact, to be able to go in under underwater submariners without any drugs, any stimulants. Uh, and even if you go to sleep with it, I did find out, if you go to sleep with it, I did it by accident the first night and everything, it does cause you to really, you remember dreams. It's very interesting how that works. But anyway, I, I, what I wanted to share with you, though, is another personal testimony. Um, and a little bit gross out to look at this picture right here. I'm going to show you pictures of my ankle. And uh, this is part of the damage that was done to me from the peroxide treatment that I was given by a particular doctor. I won't call their name on here, but uh, who injected my father-in-law that caused his death. Uh, nearly killed my wife. My wife's veins totally collapsed in her body. The, the only way they could ever get an IV afterwards was through ultrasound and even then very difficult, whereas she always was easy to get a vein uh, during an IV. But, uh, but anyway, her veins have actually begun to come back as well. Well, one of the major issues that I suffered from this 21 mils of peroxide given to me intravenously was also a cardiovascular system uh, breakdown. And it got to where my legs would swell massively and uh, because my blood circulation would just not pull the blood back up. In fact, it was so bad I had to go to a cardiologist uh, and because they were worried that my heart was failing and ended up being though that it was vascular damage and so i'm going to share with you what my what had become of this swelling in my legs and what the difference is now uh, because i had noticed that that's the swelling in my legs is now after being on this patch now for four months has nearly completely dissipated not quite but nearly and so I wanted to share the images of that with you for you there. This is what my legs, this is, and what it is, I, you know, you wear, you, I'm just wearing my regular socks and everything. And of course, when you take the sock off, you have all that massive fluid buildup in the leg as a result of that. And I remember a good friend of mine, but two doctors that I know, they I sent the picture to them because at first I didn't know what was going on. I'm like, you know, you, you, you know how they do the tests, you press on your leg to see if you're retaining fluid in your lower limbs. Well, this is the way my father looked when he was dying from dementia because the, um, with the dementia, your heart begins to fail and you can't get the fluids to, to leave the body. Uh, and that's exactly what I was going through. And, uh, and boy, they both freaked out and they said, you've got to get to a heart doctor immediately. This is not good. Uh, so I did go, and the heart doctor was very concerned as well about the condition of the swelling in my legs there now. And this here is a picture I just taken my sock off, just like in the other one. The other, actually, this one here, I'd probably had my sock off already for about, oh, I don't know, an hour maybe by the time I actually took the picture. It's just that much swelling would be in my leg. Uh, but now... This is, you barely have any indentation, as you can see, just a little tiny bit now. So over time, and even you can see my ankle bone there, uh, if you were to, 
I don't have the picture here. You couldn't see my ankle bones or even, even with the sock on, you couldn't see my ankles at all. You couldn't see any of the bones in my feet practically at all. They're just, and it's not one leg, it's both legs swollen like that. Now the left was far worse than the right. That's actually the left, but the left was always much worse than the right. And, um, but, uh, but that is another one of the amazing things that by God's grace, this, this patch has done the stem cells, because one of the things in the case studies they had shown was how that the cardiovascular system, I want to say that in the case studies, it's, uh, within, I think it was either six months or eight months after being on it, it pretty much will rebuild the cardiovascular system. So really incredible. So dogs are going to start barking now because I see the other one with their head lifted up waiting to bark. Go join the other one to bark here. So anyway, if you want to, uh, to, to get these amazing products there, you know, uh, please go to our website, lifewave.com forward slash Benoon. It's right there on your screen. Uh, and you can just, you could actually just, you know, you don't have to join as a distributor. You can just go in there and order the products. But if you do do what they call preferred customer, like when you're going to go in there and you're going to, you just want to shop, right? And you become a preferred customer. And they got, like I said, all kinds, energy patch, ice wave is for pain that you're having right then, silent nights to sleep. And what it does, the silent nights, it actually causes your body to make melatonin naturally. Uh, in fact, I'm wearing glutathione tonight, and the reason I'm going to wear glutathione is a patch that will cause your body to increase its own glutathione production by a thousand percent. And uh, I started getting a real bad sinus problem, but I know when I put that on, I'm going to feel great tomorrow automatically. Uh, I'm going to interview my aunt too this weekend. She had uh, mid to late stage dementia, and her whole life has been totally 100% turned around. Put her on the X39, and she is. It, she went from a person that could barely communicate to just incredible. And so, uh, and I have to tell you, this is why I'm so excited about this product. There, you know, I, I, I can't. It's. It, I don't promote it. I mean, granted, yes, uh, the company will bless us if you decide to purchase this as well. But it's more so. You. You just. You feel in your heart, you just have to share it. You have to because you want to see somebody helped. Uh, I, I'm, I'm places, I talk to total strangers that I would have probably never talked to before. And it's all because I'm listening, I hear the person talking. Uh, the guy talking the other day at the post office carpal tunnel, I had to tell him about it. I'm sitting there thinking to myself, if I don't tell this guy about something that could actually help him, and I walk away. He may go through surgery. He may go through this or that, you know. Whereas something as small as a, look at a little band aid might very well change his life. And so that's why I, I keep doing the way I do. Like if you were to go in there, for example, though, and you hit the X39, X49 combo package, which these two together, by the way, those two together, when you take those, they did some preliminary studies on that, and it actually, people with, that, that were very sensitive to EMF frequencies were actually helped and improved in their symptoms. Um, incredible uh, to know that. Uh, but the recovery that the X49 does for the body after you've, you know, I, I've had situations like I pulled my muscles in my right arm not too long ago. I put the X49, X39 on it, next day I felt great again. I'm like, no way. I'm like, no way. Normally, that would, that would take weeks for me to recover from something like that. But anyway, if you become a subscribed customer, like when they show you right there, see the retail would have been $279 for both of those. But if you did it as a preferred customer where you're on an auto ship, which is easy to cancel at any time once you decide you've had done enough of it, uh, they recommend a month for every decade of your life. So for me, it'd be six months. And, uh, but once you, once you get on there, you save, you're saving a hundred bucks by doing the auto ship there. So just, to, just something to, uh, to think about. And I trust that it'll bless you. I, I'll put it this way. I know it'll bless you. If you decide to try it, it'll bless you. I mean, the testimonies just pour into us constantly and we need to do another video on that. 
Uh, we had an amazing, amazing video that we did, uh, shared some things there. In fact, if you want to look at that too, just to see some of the things that, uh, that we're sharing there on that, just go to Benoon, uh x 39 our YouTube channel. And um, there we go right there. And, and if you go right there on, on our channel there, oh, I'm sorry, that's actually, that's not the channel. Let me take you to that real quick. I'll try to post that in the link for you too. We have testimonies in there. We have where we do our little Zoom meetings once a week in there as well. Um, we've had some doctors we've interviewed, some very, very incredible stuff there. Uh, but the, the testimonies there, let's see, where was that one that we had just recently? Here we go, this one right here. You really will want to check this out there. Less amazing story there. Um, in fact, we had a pilot friend of ours, uh, uh, Randy and his wife, Catherine, and he just shared where he had banged up his shin really bad in a simulator. He was doing training. Uh, he's an uh, uh, airline pilot. He's doing some training there, and he said his leg swelled up. He put that patch on his leg. He said the swelling went down the next morning. He said he felt great. Amazing. Sister Rosa, amazing sister. Uh, she had gone, had a lot of bald spots. She got her hair all came back from it. Um, and, and several other things that she talks about, you know, so I think you'd really, it'll really bless you. And then Lisa, her husband, he's the one that had the 70% blocked carotid arteries. Talk about amazing. After only a few weeks of X39, they were clear. That, that blew me away. That blew me away. Anyway, I don't want to sit here and waste you guys' time. Uh, I'll talk to you guys tomorrow morning, God willing. And uh, tomorrow night, by the way, don't forget tomorrow night's Zoom meeting. In-depth biblical studies that I'll be doing with you at 8 p.m. Eastern. StephenBenoon.com. Uh, how can I show you that to where you don't mess up, right? Let's, let's do like this here then. Let's just say www.steven with a V E N, Benun, B E N N U N dot C O M, StephenBenun.com. When you click on that link right there, or when you, when you type that in tomorrow night, 8 p.m. Eastern, that's going to take you to the Zoom meeting, and you'll be able to join. It'll already be on. Uh, join us, why don't you? We have room for 500 people to be able to come in and take part in there. And, uh, and if you want to see those meetings, patreon.com is where they air at, you know, doesn't cost you anything to come join us there live with it. But if you want to be able to go back and look at it, I think the one we did last week, it was amazing. It was on redemption and I go into redemption in a totally unique way that I really believe will bless your heart. Patreon.com forward slash Israeli News Live. We'll put the links in the description below for you. God bless you.